Okay. Today we're going to replace the trunk struts on a uh, 2005 to 2010 Chrysler 300. This is a 2008 model we're working on today. And um, we're going to show you how to take them off and replace them. Okay. These are the struts uh, from the Chrysler 300 2005 to 2010 models. And this is the original strut. This is a replacement strut we got off the internet. And they said this was the, the correct replacement for that. Now, what we noticed is that this is um, it's the right length and it works fine on the car uh, as far as fitment and everything goes but when you look at it closer you'll see that the the shaft here is a smaller diameter than this shaft and the gas charged body is a little bit smaller in diameter than than the original equipment which is a little larger in diameter now that can affect the way that operates and if it's got enough strength to hold that up and open and close the way it is. So when you're when you're purchasing replacement parts, make sure you're you're finding a, a piece that's original equipment spec and the same size so that it works properly. Otherwise you may find that the trunk lid doesn't open and close properly. It may go shut uh, harder or um, it may go shut too easily and fall or when you're opening it it won't lift it up properly so that would be the first thing you want to do is make sure you get your your correct size replacements uh, before you go ahead and replace them here's a here's a strut and the way these things come off is there's a little slot down here and there's a spring right here and what you do is you can use a little screwdriver I've just got a little uh, pick type thing and you can even use probably even a nail would would work but you just need to push that down in there and pull that little spring back far enough so that there's the little ball goes in there and those springs are pulled back enough so you can slip it on and off with that ball now this is a narrower slot down here so you need something kind of sharp and, or a very small screwdriver and then up on the top the other or the other end that has a bigger slot and in this case if I'm just using my nail I can I can pull that out or I can stick it in there and pull it out or again a screwdriver or my other little tool here just pull that out enough so that you can pull those springs back see here you can see where they're they're on now they're tight and that's what holds it on so we'll go ahead and we'll uh, replace one on the trunk right now okay first thing we've done is to make sure that lid doesn't fall down because it's kind of heavy is to prop that up and make sure that's propped up so it won't fall down because um, uh, if that falls down and uh, hits you or unexpectedly somebody would stand there helping you uh, you could probably get a bruise or a bang out of that so we're propping that up right now so then we're gonna go ahead and, and remove the clip on here and I actually got that part way off and we want to get that enough so that we can um, pull that pull that out of there and you got to work at it a little bit, but and you may may actually end up taking the, the clip completely off. But okay, we got that spring pulled back there, and then it slipped right off. And here's the little ball where it fits on. So now we've got that one loose, and now we just need to get the the bottom one loose. Again, you gotta probably work at it just a little bit, but if you can get it in that little slot there and pull it out evenly on both sides, and then it, and then it comes right off. So now we're gonna put the other one back on, and we're gonna do it in, in reverse of what we did, and we're just gonna get that in there and 
pry that up so that's back out of the way enough that we can slip it over the ball and there it slips right on and the same with the top one we're gonna just work that up a little bit there and get that so that'll slip right on that ball now here's where we might need a little bit of help Oop. where you might have to have somebody help you move the trunk a little bit because these when they're charged and, and new they're very uh, hard to compress so somebody that can just help you tip it a little and there it's back on so now we'll we'll um, remove our safety um, stick and, and we'll see how it works and it stays up until it gets almost down and then it'll go shut before it would just if you moved it just a little bit from being fully open it would fall down slam down so this is a big improvement over over what it was so if we're going to open it we'll just uh, unlatch it there and now we lift it up with one finger and it'll stay up and then it goes up so much better All right. that's it Thanks for watching We'll probably be doing some more stuff, or we will be doing more stuff on the Chrysler. Um, there's going to be some additional maintenance items. I'm going to plan to be doing one on the uh, uh, spark plug replacements, and that will involve removing the uh, intake manifold. And while we're doing that, we're going to look at the uh, short runner valves in the uh, intake manifold and how that whole system works and uh, some ways you can uh, uh, deal with problems on that on that particular item. Thanks for watching.